Okay, so have you noticed a few things have been changing lately? Things are not like they used to be six, seven, eight months ago. I am Jacqueline and I am the founder of Discover Love Matches. I am a professional matchmaker and I have seen everything over my 10 years, but I definitely can say these are new experiences happening in our lives. And I just thought it'd be kind of fun to stop and pause now that we have been in social distancing and this whole COVID activity happening for our safety, wearing face masks, you know, not sure about hugging or not and kissing and all those fun things that we used to love to do. And I was noticing that as the months have gone on, things have been changing in how people are looking at dating. Initially when this happened, I had a whole bunch of people sign up because they thought, oh, well, I've got time. I'm going to be working from home. So this will be easy. But then as it continued, they got a little more challenging feelings on getting out and dating, meeting people. So a lot of dating kind of paused for a few months. Now I'm getting this huge surge of new people coming in and saying, okay, this is our reality. This is what's happening. This isn't going away anytime soon. Now, how do I date? So this is what life's about. It has changes, things evolve. Sometimes it's really awesome things and other times it's really cruddy things, but it's how we deal with them. How much power do we give the things that are not in our comfort zone, the things that are frustrating? And I'm noticing that we have so many new people that are finding me, thank goodness to Google searching, where you guys are, a lot of you are discovering me, but also people that knew me in the past are now coming back saying, hey, I'm ready to start dating. I know it's different, it's kind of awkward, but I gotta do something because I have been saying this the entire time, and it still holds true, is we still need that connection. We still desire it, if not even more. And we just have to go through a few more communication steps, set up some more boundaries, and be a little more particular about who we are dating. But I want you to stop denying yourself this chance to connect. Doing the virtual dates, nobody can get sick, but you can have fun laughing, you can have fun connecting. Once you feel safe enough to meet in person and feel that that person will respect your boundaries, will wear the mask, will walk the distance apart, and is, you know, taking the time to wash their hands, is respecting not hugging, whatever it is that you need right now, this is really a great time to get clear with your communication. Tell the person what you want when you're going on this date, but also, like, get back to having fun. Get back to laughing and enjoying yourself. So many times when we have a virtual event and I ask, hey, has anybody gone on a virtual date? Have you done anything fun with your friends? It's just crickets. And there's usually one or two people that might have done something. And I know that we have to be safe. And I want you to be safe. I want you to stay healthy. I want you to stay vibrant. I also really believe in relationships. I believe in friendships. I believe in having people in your life. If we over isolate during this time, it's only going to be harder to reel you back in to loving life with other people. This is a horrible situation that we can make a positive outcome. So I'm noticing the people that are reaching out to me right now are wanting to love so much deeper than before. They're asking for the real connection. They are willing to do the homework. They're willing to participate and communicate what their needs, wants, and desires are. They also are people that are saying, hold on, why did I wait this long, even before the pandemic? So as we're seeing that this pandemic isn't going away, we have to decide what kind of life we want to live. Are we showing up for our happiness? I've been doing more personal things that are bringing me so much joy that honestly, I wasn't really doing before the pandemic. So I'm looking at the positivity. I've been telling some really great friends what I'm up to, and their response has been so encouraging and so inviting and inspiring that I want to do more. So I want you to think about what are some things that you could start doing that would build your comfort, but get you out there feeling good and excited? I just think that these virtual events are great. Obviously, I'm a huge supporter of, our, of them and a promoter, but there's so many ways that you can connect at. You can reach out to people you've known before. You can ask friends if they have any introductions they'd like to make. You know, we can really work through this process without shutting the world out. There is something so loving and positive and exciting and titillating to feel sexy again, to feel beautiful again, to feel handsome again, but we have to choose to show up for it. We have to say, hey, 
this is the reality, but how can I make it good? It's all about those making your lemons into lemonade. And this is an opportunity because you have something to talk about, you have an experience that's shared, but you also are saying, I'm willing to step up and get more clear about this. I am not willing to keep waiting for it to go away to decide that I get to do love later. There are such great people that are reaching out to me. I have been blown away the extra increase in new enrollments because people are finally accepting that this isn't going away. We're sticking with virtual events. Now, I know not everybody likes those, but it's only a one-time thing. Then once you message the person and you guys connect, you'll decide, hey, this is somebody I want to meet in person. So I'm here to give you great people to meet, but you have to decide that you're willing to show up for it. So I want you to start waving in the direction of positivity, looking at how there's good things that are actually coming out of this crazy COVID time. This is a chance for people getting healthier, they're doing more personal care work, but they're also realizing, why am I doing everything on my own? Why am I setting myself up to keep people at a distance, even with social distancing, but it's on that emotional level. I'm noticing that people want to go deeper in the connections they want. They want to have that partnership that before their lives were so busy, they had friends, they had activities, they had things going on. So it was really easy to kind of get caught up in the buzz of life. But now that we've had so many months dealing with this, they're starting to say, hey, hold on, this is not going away. So my question to you is, what are you going to start doing that you've been putting off while we get sorted through the crazy pandemic and get back to knowing what you want? So this isn't about going on a ton of dates. It's not about exposing yourself to a whole bunch of people, but it's getting clear about your wishes, your wants, your desires, and having fun again. This isn't to take away all the joy in the world by having this horrible situation happen. We can also make it a positive situation and you need to get clear with you what you want because I am seeing the people signing up with my agency over and over and over getting very clear about what they want. They're showing up. They're asking me who wants to date, who wants to get into a relationship, and they are also looking for more sincerity. It's a lot deeper than we had before the pandemic, so I think that's a positive part of it. What do you think? I am Jacqueline, and I'm going to keep this conversation going. I want to know what you're doing to continue the fun and the flirting while we navigate through this wild and crazy time, and I will look forward to talking to you again soon.